first I got into martial arts for self survival. I wanted to be able to take care of myself. Um, as a child growing up, I uh, got interested in uh, Bruce Lee very young from the the, uh, the Green Hornet series and whatnot. So uh, I just really had a real interest in, in Bruce Lee and Jeet Kune Do and fighting in general uh, most of my life. Uh, I first started in the in the 80s with Makoto and uh, continued to train with him from and as well as uh, Sifu Larry Hartzell. Very big influence. Very fortunate to be able to uh, to train with him and study with him for many years. Well, Jeet Kune Do, in my opinion, is uh, is a vehicle for self-expression. Um, it comes through a physical physical means, but if you've studied it long enough, it, you you really have you really explore yourself and uh, understand yourself better. Uh, so for me it's a very, it's a very great way to, for self-expression as well as a uh, say musician or a drummer would express himself through music that you can express yourself through the fighting and it, it goes outward into your lifestyle as well. Well um, the wonderful thing about um, JKD is we, uh, we pretty much tap into both those avenues. Um, I think a lot of the sport training is, is, is like the primary. You have to be able to wrestle, you have to be able to punch, you have to be able to kick. You have to be able to trap, trapping range is, is, as well as on the ground. You see a lot of trapping on the ground in the UFC, but not so much um, maybe bridging the gap and stuff, not more the, more the John Fawn type trapping. You don't see a lot of that, but that's very functional, could be very well used in the UFC. Well, um, fighting is all about different attributes. Um, we concentrate on some other um, different martial arts styles. We concentrate on uh, different different attributes for different things. Whereas in the Jeet Kune Do concept, concepts, there's just uh, that's our whole focus is attributes. We're not separating wrestling from punching from kicking. We just want to develop our attributes so we can just flow in there, you know, with you know not thinking. Right? So. Uh, I, for myself, attributes, some people might think uh, speed, timing, strength are, are, they're all attributes and they're all wonderful things, but you know, I look at timing, sensitivity, and mobility. Uh, I would put them on my top three. Um, these other things are all important, they're all going to help you, but if you don't have timing, or you don't have sensitivity, or you don't have mobility, whether that's standing, or on the ground, or with a weapon, or without, you're going to have a hard day. So. Um, you know, uh, my thing is focusing on the attributes that are going to make me, at this particular age, still very functional. Yeah, as you grow older, you're, you're going to change the way you, you operate. It just came out of all my years of uh, training and some of my experiences and, and try, to, try to simplify my training methods for new students that came in, how they can grasp uh, street fighting quickly and it com coming out of the mass attack and the multiple opponents it was a wonderful way and so some of the drills and some of the sensitivity drills and some of the the, the the stuff that we do on the double end bag I came up with a lot of stuff and it just kind of grouped itself over time and uh, became a real uh, you know positive positive thing the students love it and uh, they get a lot accomplished with it. The Crash Smash is uh, wonderful for both the, the street because it was based off the street, off multiple opponents, as I, as I said, and a lot of the blade training. Um, but it, it, it blends itself well to the uh, to sport as well because it's just a powerful thing to understand energy and uh, um, you know, the choke points on the body and the, you know, the pulling and the pushing and the, the dumog. It's just a very powerful thing. My motto for the crash and smash is uh, hit a move a body, hit a body, and stay covered. Because uh, you want to be able to feel the energy, move the guy, move the body, but at the same time you want to be able to hit and manipulate a, a positive energy against him. <laughs> so, but at the same time, if you're getting hit or clobbered, uh, all your good intentions just be for naught. Um, so this, you know, so I put these structures together and whatnot. And most of the time, you are pretty covered, and you're moving a body very well. Once again, depending where you want to go with that, the sky's the limit. You can take them to the ground, you can keep them up, you can street fight, or you can you know, definitely use a friend of no problem. First of all, JKD would give them the, uh, 
the ability to not be bullied. <laughs> they would have self-confidence, which in a lot, of, a lot of bullying cases, the bullies don't want someone that's self-confident. They'll back away from that. But having said that, and they do, the bully does bother them, they're going to have something to back it up. They're not just going to go in there with uh, idle words, you know, as we say. So in, in a physical and even a mental way, it's just totally positive. You know, I have daughters and, and, and they're doing it. You know, I'm not making them violent, and they understand it. It's not violent, but it's, uh, you need to be violent at some time in your life. You know, if you live a long time, sooner or later, the shit's going to hit the fan whether you like it or not. You better be prepared for it. It's not a paranoia. It's just an awareness. And your kids need this in their life. It's, uh, it's a great, especially growing up, to be able to, to train in this would be a wonderful thing. Um, it's going to help them in every avenue of their life, as well as being self-confident, you know, um, uh, being able to take care of yourself, and, uh, and just, just being a better person. It's a positive thing. Uh, women love the arts, too. They uh, have couples, they have, uh, you know, women's self-defense programs, as well as, uh, you know, they, they love it. It's great for women. It's a wonderful thing. Every woman should be doing it. <laughs> As a parent, you should focus that on your kids as well because you give them food, shelter, love, and education, and then you send them out into the big world with, with no ability to, to take care of themselves. I mean, a one-minute one scenario can change your child's life forever. Whether it's really violent or just even other people, just maybe a minor violent thing can change the whole way they operate. So it's very important to have that self-confidence, and you have to have something to back.